Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Guess what? It's time to wash my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro. I purposely did not wash it for almost a month now, so it's super dirty, so that I can show you exactly how to wash this truck properly as an automotive engineer. Let me tell you all of the techniques that I use that will be different from conventional way, but it is a proper way. Most of you guys know I have uh, an automotive engineering background with experience in body engineering and body design. So I know exactly how the paint should be treated and how they should be washed. So I'm going to be using something unconventional, which is this electric leaf blower as one of the ways to wash and to dry this truck. So let me show you how that works. And by the way, do you like my GR t-shirt? This is kind of a unique t-shirt I bought at uh, Toyota head office in Nagoya. Back about two years ago, you cannot buy this anywhere else in the world, but I'm kind of proud of having this. And I'm going to be washing the truck while wearing the GR t-shirt. So let me show you how this works step by step. So before I go too far, let me show you how dirty my Tacoma TRD Pro now. It has sat underneath uh, a tree that uh, produces sap. So all this sticky uh, sap has uh, been uh, on top of the uh, paint for now about a month and it's pretty filthy. Um, I do have graphene ceramic coating on this truck. So these dirt should come off pretty easily. But nevertheless, I've never allowed it to get this dirty. I even have a spider web being the, being produced over there on the corner. Uh, this is unthinkable for me because usually I'm washing this truck once a week or every two weeks at the very least, but it's pretty dirty now. So I'm going to uh, show you why it's important to use the electric leaf blower right off the bat so you don't rub this dirt onto the paint. So let me walk you through that right now. So the biggest mistake people make is when they try to wash the car, they start to wash with all this dirt on top of the paint. So what happens is that all this uh, dirt and also grit will be uh, rubbing against the paint and you will scratch the paint as soon as you try to wash it, even when everything is wet. So think of this ping pong ball as a dirt or piece of grit stuck between the paint and your washcloth. So if you try to rub it, this is going to rub against the paint and that's how you produce paint scratches during car wash. So that's the most important thing. And so that means you have to try to get rid of the surface grit and dirt uh, and without scratching the paint. So that's why I use the electric leaf blower right off the bat and blow off all of the basic dirt as much as I can with just the power of the power of the air. Uh, and then I will um, start to wash the trucks. So let me show you how that works by using the electric leaf blower and to try to blow off as much of the dirt as possible away from the surface of the paint. Now you can use any kind of a leaf blower, but I like the electric one because it's a little bit quieter and also, um, it's just easier, it's lighter. I don't have to use a gasoline engine or fuel them up. So I use this to, again, quickly blow some of the surface uh, dust away so they don't stay on the top of the paint. So that allowed me to get rid of most of the superficial surface dust. So now I can begin to wash the car and not worry about having excessive amount of dirt trapped on top of the paint. So the next step is to simply rinse and wash off as much of the dirt and soil as possible that's laying on top of the paint so that we don't start washing the car with the dirt uh, on lying on the paint. Now I do use a number of different washes, but the one I like the most is this one by Turtle Wax hybrid solution, simply called a ceramic wash and wax. So I already have a graphene ceramic coating on this truck that was professionally applied when I bought the truck. So I don't really have to use any kind of strong soap and I definitely do not recommend any kind of dishwashing soap or any soap that can wash off the wax that was previously applied. So any wash and wax from the auto supply would do, but personally I like this uh, hybrid solution, ceramic wash and wax, but there are a lot of other solutions as well. But first let me rinse off the truck and I will apply soap and begin to wash the truck. Now I simply use a normal hose attachment like this to wash the, uh, wash the truck. If you have a pressure washer, uh, particularly the electric one which is not so strong, it's probably more ideal because it has a stronger uh, 
pressure and it can wash off easier. But sometimes the pressure washer can scratch the paint because it's too strong. So I just rather use a regular garden hose with attachment and rinse off as much as I can. So if you notice, I wash from top to bottom to make sure all of the dirt is, gets rinsed from top and then eventually to the lower, lower part of the truck. I also rinse the wheels quickly, but that's a separate discussion. So I've now rinsed it and you can tell actually that uh, the ceramic coating is still working really well. Even though I haven't washed this truck for over a month, just by rinsing off with the water, the water beading is beginning to come back. So that's how good graphing ceramic coating is. It's a proof that sometimes it's worth paying someone to get it applied correctly. And I'm going to wash from top to bottom. Keep in mind, I'm going to use a different uh, microfiber cloth for the upper part of the truck from the lower part because the lower part is usually dirtier and definitely use a very different set of sponge for the wheels and tires. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I have three sets of uh, different uh, washcloth. Uh, this is for the upper body. This is for a lower body. This is for the roof because I can't reach some of the parts of the roof, so I have to use a soft uh, bristle brush. There's nothing wrong with that as long as I'm careful with, uh, with the brush and the type of brush I choose. So let me do that, and then I'm going to wash the wheels and wax separately. So as you can tell, just to be more convenient, I'm going to continue to use the brush type uh, washing just for the windows, but that won't get scratched easily. And then the rest of the body will be used with the microfiber cloth. Now I'm going to rinse as often as I can so that I keep pushing the soap and the dirt away and not get them trapped between the paint and my fiber cloth. So I'll continue to wash again. Now I'm going to rinse off what I can so far so that uh, soap doesn't get dried up. And then I'm going to use the wash mitt now to wash the rest of the truck using a clean wash and wax soap mix. So I'm going to dump everything I used so far, mix a new uh, batch, and then begin to wash the rest of the body. So this light blue one is the one I'm going to use to wash the body, and I will use the pink one to wash the lower part of the truck. Again, start from the top and then move downward. I have already washed the roof, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then once you get to say lower part of the truck, about last 20% or so, I'm going to switch my wash mitt. Now I'm going to switch to the lower portion of the truck. So I'm gonna use a different um, wash mitt. This is for the more dirty part of the truck. But I'm not going to use this for wheels and tires. That's another set of different, uh, different uh, washcloth. I've now washed the entire truck from top to bottom. The only thing that's left are the wheels and tires. So you have a couple of choices. I do have a special brush that I bought for the purpose of washing tires and wheels. Now these things get really dirty and obviously turn up black because of the, all of the gut that's stuck into the tires and wheels. So what I do is I just use an old microfiber or old towel that I don't need anymore. And this is going to be disposable. I just use it once to wash all the tires and wheels and then dump this away and then I use this to thoroughly clean between the spokes and so forth in the wheels. So two step process, once to get all of the grime out, second time to wash more carefully and then the wheels and tires are ready to go. So as you can tell, this towel gets pretty dirty, so you probably don't want to keep this. You can wash it if you want, but I tend to just look for an old one that I don't need anymore, use it once and throw them away. So I'm gonna switch over to the brush now and wash the rest of the wheels and tires. Now we are in the final stages. I'm going to rinse it one more time and then use the electric uh, leaf blower to dry everything and then towel dry at the very end. So this is the final stages. I'll show you how this works. Now is my favorite part of the uh, washing process, which is to use electric leaf blower to dry as much of the water as possible, and then I will hand dry the rest of the truck. Now if you wash your truck properly and use this maybe twice, you almost don't have to dry anything by hand. So let me dry one more time and see how much water is left, uh, and then I'll finish off with my hand. 
So I would say it's 80 to almost 90% dry now. So I could basically leave it the way it is. But I'll do a final dry by, by hand just to complete the wash. And then beyond this, if you wish, you can still apply a light coat of wax. Um, again, I use a turtle wax ceramic coating type spray or I also have Adam's uh, graphene detail spray. So one of those would, would be fine. I'm not going to do that today because it's in pretty good condition right now. Uh, so I'll, I'll hand dry it, apply some dressing to the tires, and that will be the end of my complete wash and wax today. It's really important that you do a final drying with the uh, freshly washed and laundered uh, microfiber. This is a super thick one I bought from Amazon, and then it's nice and clean so it will not add any more dirt back to the paint. The last step is to apply some uh, tire dressing. You can use really anything you want. This is just something I bought from Costco, I believe. No touch, high shine. I just apply this to the tires, and then if you really want, you can kind of use a microfiber cloth to or paper towel to kind of rub it into the tire. But for the most part, you can just spray and leave it there. And that's all I'm gonna do. And that'll be the end of my car wash, and the truck should look pretty good. So that's the end of my whole wash and wax process. Again, it's important to take as much of the loose dirt away as possible from a paint. So I use a combination of a, a leaf blower and then a strong spray of water to get all the loose uh, dirt and soil away from the paint. And then you wash from top to bottom. Keep in mind that you gotta use a couple of different microfiber cloths for the upper part and the lower part. And then finally, I finish off with uh, leaf blower to basically save time and to blow off anything else that's on top of the paint and then hand dry because that will ensure that you didn't miss anything so this is the end of my washing process hopefully you learned a lot and let me show you what the truck looks like right now